everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page four, page four, and we've, we've done page four before, and like I said, there's a lot of repetition in this album. So we're gonna start by adding um, a flap that is five and a half, five and a half by six, score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. And I'm applying this Yes, to the um, left-hand side of the page. I was thinking through something before I committed to what I was going to say. And then we're going to add a pocket down here on the right-hand side. And this pocket is four and a half by seven. And you're going to score a half inch on three of the four sides to make a nice pocket. It's going to go to the left-hand side. <clears throat> Here we go. Easy peasy. That's it. It's very simple. So we'll have an insert uh, a little bit later. I'm definitely going to card stock back or make a card with one of the ephemera cards. And depending on how much paper is left over, I may also do a five by seven insert. Too early in the process to tell you. Oh, and then after this, we will add a magnet. Okay. Let's do that before I cover it up. Oh, let's draw a little line here that helps us know where to put the magnet. It has to definitely be above this line, but not too close to the edge that we have trouble getting the paper to lay down. <clears throat> Now it's attracting to a magnet on the opposite side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over so that it's like it's repelling. And the reason I like to do that is if we decide to use inserts here, you know, the large inserts, um, if you have two magnets that are attracting on the opposite sides, uh, Let's move that a little bit more. It's hard to get your insert through because the magnets are, are kind of held together and trying to slip paper and it's difficult. If you um, put the magnet down so that it's repelling, it's much easier to slide your paper in. So it's pretty straightforward. You just have to think about it when you're, when you're laying your magnet in. Because if you don't, you will be aware of it when you go to slide your inserts in. You'll be, you can still get it done, but you, it's very obvious that you're fighting um, to split two magnets apart. Okay, here we go. Now that that's done, let's cover our pocket. So I wanna share with you a mistake I made, and I'm gonna go with it because I don't have enough of this paper to recut it. I actually cut it this way instead of this way. So I'm gonna lay it down the way it is, but pay attention when you're trimming your papers out that you're cutting in the right direction, uh, unlike me. Who, who made that mistake, which is an obvious one. Um, but because I made that mistake on the pocket, I'm gonna carry it across so that it's uniform. I don't wanna have one uh, one direction and the other one going the opposite direction or uh, 45 degrees from the this direction. So I'm just gonna stick with it, but pay attention. Learn from my mistakes. And then here's the other piece. And like I said, I'm just gonna continue to carry it across because um, you don't want one going one way and the other going another, okay. It'll, I mean, it kind of stands out anyway, but it'll make it stand out even more. And I'm not sure, I probably have enough paper to, to reorient it, but I'm gonna go with what I have. Oh. This is too big. I didn't trim it down. Okay, let's re-ink that edge and get it in. There we go. A little bit of, okay. And then I chose this to go between the two. So I need to, um, Trim this, mark it, trim it. Let me make sure which way am I going. 
I'm going to go this direction. Okay, that should be the right height. Yep. Let's ink the edge, and then we're going to mark this, uh, what's going to be roughly, I think, a one-inch band here. see how we did. Looks good. Perfect. And then this is going to go here, and it's a little bit too big, and that's fine. We're just going to tuck it inside the pocket, like so, and then back it off. So this is our leading edge. We're going to leave it bare and just put glue up here so we can slip it in and then pull it back out if we need to without leaving a trail. <clears throat> There we go. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to put a placeholder in here real quick. So I don't forget that we want to uh, add an insert. And at the very least, it's going to be an ephemera card. But if I have enough paper, I'm going to do an ephemera card and a 5x7. And that's what this is, 5x7. Okay, we'll just leave that there, but we're going to cover the rest of the book before we come back and try to do anything here. Okay, that's it.